This is the dark story I'm about to tell in a bright way. This is a story of a street boy, so I'll tell it the street way. So kindly whitewash all the pavements along the boulevards and call to parade all to come listen to a success story of a street boy society once termed a hooligan. The Postman. In a dark land of Lilliput, one-eyed, shallow-minded men ruled. They took for granted the creative world of their indigenous, turned them into cash cows, skimmed them of their honey and milk. Everybody was afraid of these one-eyed, shallow-minded rulers. All the indigenous that had a part to play in the realization of each other's dreams were afraid. None of them bothered to take a bold step, for they all thought they could never overpower a formidable foe. So they all kept mute like tortoise in pepper soup. They kept feeling the pains in their eyes and the melting of their hearts gradually, but all they hoped for was to be given a nut out of the nuts to keep themselves and their families alive. One morning came a boy who was in the past treated as such and was dashed to the darkest nights. Watching from a window view, he saw the challenges of his brothers and knew something ought to be done. He had the backing of no man but God and wielded a microphone in his hand like a sword. He had his feet on the clutch and the accelerator, so he knew it was time to ignite. He presented himself as the scapegoat roaming the forecourts of the town's abattoir and bleeding tirelessly before the butcher. Looking from above, said the rulers, <laughs> See this young boy who has no future just like his brothers wanting to fight us. How can he single-handedly succeed what his comrades have failed a thousand and nine times? Little did they know, this was the man pushed out of the main gate and was cautioned severally not to come back again. He bowed the dew at dawn. His tongue has tasted his sweat and teardrops. His dreams were buried in hopes hidden on rooftops. His visions have been kept in heads with thick skulls. He's like an athlete who has his focus on the finish line, but spectators have traded his chance into bad mouthing, tied a thousand sack full of sand at his back, just to slow down his speed. Shiona, Danny Mababo Manche, Ekbe Manche Yeli Sen Halomu. He has built a kingdom, and his own countrymen today want to take his throne. He has fought for freedom for all. He has won the battle, yet his countrymen said it's a war made up of headsmen who came in search of their cattle. Day in, day out, his happiness has been traded for sorrow. But that wouldn't stop him from gathering people from the four corners of the town to form a nation where they see no evil and hear no evil. The shatter movement. Nor do they take or accept defeat for life is their way of life. Charles Nyama Mensa is a freedom fighter. Him are the ULM desire. Call him name Shatta Wale. No man I could have deny her. One man alone fight them system till he was put on trial. Ghana, let's give to Kaiser what belongs to Kaiser and leave Isaac to Sarah for that's her only son. If we agree, let's not rob Peter to pay Paul, for a fighter may fall, but his legacies will not. For it will forever dwell in the hearts of the people from dusk till dawn. Let's cherish a freedom fighter while he's still alive, not when he's gone. The deep thinkers who understand and appreciate this deep thinking till the more. The Postman.